I'm going to have the students come in. We give a little bit of time to introduce ourselves. Um, hello, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Um, my name is Anita Dumar. I am 15 years old. I'm a sophomore at Oklahoma Academy. Um, I'm originally from Pennsylvania, but now we live here in Oklahoma. Um, in the back here is my mommy. <laughs> she, she directs a string ensemble that we're going to be playing today, and my little brother is somewhere. Yeah, my little brother in the corner. He plays a cello with us. Yeah, and I'm really blessed to be here. Hi, my name is Brooke, and um, I'm 16 years old. I just had my birthday last week, and um, I'm from Arkansas, and um, it's really been fun being here. We got to stay with Joe Black last night, and that was nice, so, yeah. Good morning, everyone. My name is Esther Gordon. I'm originally from the Bahamas. My husband, Delphine Gordon, is from Jamaica. We just moved here to Oklahoma this year with our son, Jonathan. I'm looking for Jonathan. Yes, that's Jonathan. But it's, it's a privilege for us to be here and to minister to you today. Uh, my name is Bethany. I'm from North Carolina. And Brooke is my roommate here. And also, my birthday was last week, too. And I also stayed with um, Joe Black, too. And um, <laughs> I'm a uh, junior, and I'm 17. Hi, my name is Heather Ariza. I'm uh, I'm a uh, staff at Oklahoma Academy. I help teach massage, and this is my massage student. And uh, <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, all three of us, all four of us, stayed with Joe Black. It's very nice. <laughs> uh, and uh, <laughs> I started telling them saying to me on the way up here this morning. I said I have a tank full of gas. Let's just drive. <laughs> And so uh, I'm very blessed to be here. So from South Dakota originally. Okay. Oh, hi, my name is Eliana. I'm 17 years old. I'm a senior at Oklahoma Academy this year, and I'm originally from Louisiana, but right now my family lives um, across the ocean in England. And this is my sister. I'm Brittany. I'm 16, and I'm a sophomore at Oklahoma Academy. And um, yeah, this is my sister, and she's also my roommate. So. <laughs> it's good. My name is Ariana. I'm a senior this year. This is my fourth year at Oklahoma Academy. I'm 17, and I'm originally from Alabama. My name is Brittany. I'm a senior this year, and I'm from Michigan. Hello, my name is Laura. I am from Mexico. And I did go to Oklahoma Academy a while ago, though. I graduated from there in um, 2005. And now I am, I am back, but I am a teacher. I am the elementary school teacher there. And um, so I've been there, I don't know, a year, more or less. <laughs> oh, I thought I was already introduced by my daughter. <laughs> My name is Donna Dumar, and I'm um, a new staff at Oklahoma Academy, and I feel very blessed to, that the Lord enabled us to move there. And I teach um, history, world history, um, French, and ESL. Me? Oh, I did too. How could I find the <laughs> principal? Uh-oh, sorry. That's okay. I'm Karen Holland. I'm the principal of Oklahoma Academy, and I direct the Bell Choir. And it's just exciting to be here again. Somebody asked me when we came how many years we've been coming here. Does anybody know? Probably 20? Since the 80s sometime. Yeah. So anyway, it's like coming back home, so it's good to be here. My name is Jonathan Dumar, and that's my sister, <laughs> and that's my mom, and that's my teacher, <laughs> and I am 11, and I'm in fifth grade, and I moved here. I play the cello in the strand song. Hi, my name is Jerome, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. This is I'm a junior. This is my third year there, and... Um, I live in Atlanta. I think I said that already. Um, and I stayed with the Hills last night. I really enjoyed, well, one of their sons, I believe. Um, and yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, happy Sabbath. Uh, my name is Praise, and I'm a junior this year. And I am originally from Africa, uh, but I live in Wichita, Kansas now. Uh, my name is Eric. Um, I am from Mexico. Uh, um, 
I am a s junior. I'm 17, and uh, there's my brother over there with the white shirt. No, no, the Blanco shirt. My name is Gabriel. I'm 15. I come from Connecticut, moved to Oklahoma. It was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a white shirt too, but uh, uh, I'm Eric's teacher. I, my name is Delphine Gordon, that's my wife of almost nine years, and uh, son Jonathan there. Uh, I'm the chaplain at Oakland Academy, and I uh, sing in the bass section right here. And we stayed with the Hales last night. Uh, very, very uh, accommodating. Thank you. Hi, my name is Josh, and I'm a sophomore at Oklahoma Academy, and I'm 15 years old, and I sing bass, and I originally live in Kansas, and I have two sisters. Happy Sabbath. My name is Corey Anger. I'm from um, Joplin, Missouri, and I'm 17. I'm a sophomore at Oklahoma Academy. Hello, my name is Eduardo, or you can call me Eddie or Edward for many names. Uh, I'm a senior this year at Oklahoma Academy, and I'm uh, enjoying every concert that we are doing because these my these are one of my last concerts that are going to be in Oklahoma Academy. And I'm enjoying every bit of it, and. Uh, I'm from Mexico, huh? And I'm the guy with the white shirt. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Seth. I'm from Washington State. I'm a senior this year at Oklahoma Academy. I'm 18 years old. And I sing first tenor, even though my voice, as I'm talking, is very low. So, uh, yeah. May maybe more like this or something? I don't know. <laughs> Hello, my name is Zach. You can, uh, my name is Zachary Woolsey, but you can call me Zach. Um, I'm a sophomore this year at Oklahoma Academy. And I sing tenor. I'm from Arkansas as well. And I'm Miss Day's assistant. Hello, my name is Brandon. Um, I'm a sophomore this year. I'm 16 right now, and I'm from South Korea. My name is Matthew, or you can call me Matt. I'm originally from Colorado. About two years ago, and there's staff there. Um, I am 17, I'm a junior, and I sing bass. My name is Justin Holterman. I am grounds manager at Daystar Academy. I knew I was going to say that. I graduated from Daystar Academy. I'm at Oklahoma Academy. <laughs> so the last time I did this, I was at Daystar Academy. So, <laughs> so but I sing bass and tenor, and I enjoy... Yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> That'd be cool, but I can't. <laughs> so I enjoy um, our choir trips, and uh, happy to be here. Nothing save the, sinf the selfish heart of man. There's nothing save the selfish heart of man that lives unto itself. Can you repeat that with me? There is nothing save the selfish heart of man that lives unto itself. There is no bird that cleaves the air, no animal that moves on the ground, but ministers to another's life. There is no leaf in the forest. There is not a lowly blade of grass, but it has its own ministry. Every tree, every shrub and leaf was created and pours forth an element of life without which man or animal couldn't live. And in turn, man and animal minister to the life of the tree and the shrub. The ocean itself the source of all of our springs and fountains receives the streams of every land, but it receives or it takes in order to give. 
The mists that ascend from the bosom of the ocean fill and come down in showers to water the earth that it can bring forth and bud. Today our program is on the inspiration of creation. All created things testify to his power, his wisdom, and his love. All created things. Are you and I created? Are we testifying to his wisdom, his power, his love? That's what the songs that we're going to sing today are about. And this is a very important principle. God gives us so that we can give as well. If we do not have that, then all we have to do is go to Psalms 51.10. Say it with me. Create in me a clean heart O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. And then you too will be like a channel God gives to us and we will give to each other. So join us as the students come in to greet you and shake your hand and thank you for having us as we sing and testify that the whole world is in his hands. And we do have the text for these, so we'll put those on. And we will begin our program, The Inspiration of Creation.
Um, this year at Oklahoma Academy, we've been focusing on revival as our theme. And, um, you know, in order to have revival in our lives, we need to surrender our heart to God and ask Him to come into our lives. We need His presence to fill our hearts, right? Because, you know, if we are just doing things the way we want to, you know, that's not true revival. We can go to a meeting and have a spiritual high, but that's not revival. Revival is a daily process, and we have to continue that daily process. You know, um, perfection is a work of a lifetime. We can't become perfect overnight. But because of that, we shouldn't be discouraged either. We need to keep striving for that goal, which is to gain perfection, like Jesus lived when he was here on earth. You all know, I'm sure, the order of the days of creation, right? What was the first day? Light, right? You know, in the Bible, light or fire represents the Holy Spirit. If we want revival in our hearts, we need to let his presence, his light, come into our hearts. Now the, the bell choir is now going to play glorious things of the earth spoken. And if you want to follow along your hymnals, it's hymn number 423. But just ask God to send his glorious light to come into your heart and fill you today.
talking about the second day of creation now. The first one was about the first day of creation. And on the second day of the creation, God created the, like, waters above and the waters below, right? Um, okay, I want to read a few verses to you from the Bible. Um, in Genesis 1-6, which is, like, part of the story of creation, And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God called the firmament heaven. And Hebrews 1, verse 10 says, And the heavens are the works of thine hands. Proverbs 8.28 says, He established the clouds above when he strengthened the fountains of the deep. And one last verse, Psalm 19 verse 1, says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Um, this next piece that we're going to play is called The Heavens Are Telling. It's, um, it's by Joseph Haydn. You probably have heard that name before. It's, it's part of a work of, a big work he did called The Creation, and it goes through all the, the whole story of creation. But we're going to play a song that um, deals with the second day of creation, The Heavens Are Telling. So I hope you are blessed.
Well, it's the third day of creation that we are going to represent with this song. I'd like to quickly read to you the third day of creation. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, and yield herb, herb seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind. And God, God saw that it was good. I always have thought it would be awesome to see God create. Wouldn't it be awesome? To see God say, let there be trees, and there was trees. And let there be dry land, and all of a sudden there was dry land. Wouldn't that be awesome? Well, we can look forward to that day. Because when he recreates this earth, we'll get to watch it. And we're going to get to see his hand. So this is creation is telling.
Now it's on. All right. Um, Genesis 1.14 says, God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. God made two great lights, the great light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He also made stars, and God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. Psalms 8, 1 and 3 says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, when I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained. In all the works of creation, teach them to see an expression of his love. Love. The basis of creation and redemption is the basis of true education. This next song that the crowd is going to sing is called, I Am Love. God is love. And when I first heard this, this really moved me. I've, I've never heard a song that really talked about God's love so deeply and expressively. And that's basically what this song is talking about. And it's one of my personal favorites. Peace be on the storm. I am the peace. 
let the, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind. And it was so. And God said, let us make man after our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish, fowl, cattle, and over all the earth. This song that we're about to play is called All Things Bright and Beautiful. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this hymn. And in this hymn, it's just talking about all the beautiful things that God created. This is day six of creation. Oh, well, day five, yeah. And um, God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that have life fowl that may fly above the earth. God created these things in this earth beautiful in the beginning. He created the things that were beautiful. He made, it, he made man even after his own image. But everything that was in the world at that time was perfect. Can you imagine a perfect world? where there was no such thing as dying, there was no such thing as dying animals, or death, or anything like that, or pain, or crying, or tears. All the things that we have to suffer in this world today were non-existent in that world. And I'm looking forward to whenever God recreates this earth, and where we're going to have to, we're going to be able to experience that same joy that Adam and Eve were able to experience. But I want you to dwell on the message of this song, All Things Bright and Beautiful. God didn't create sin. Most people think that God created sin, but he did, that was not in his plan in the beginning. His plan was that we all live in a perfect and happy world. So think about the things in this world, even though it's sinful, that they're still beautiful. Think about the grass and the trees and the birds that sing each morning and the flowers that grow in the springtime. Think about these beautiful things that God has still blessed us with and allow them to be able to share the message that God has given them.
Can everybody hear me? Alright. Well, uh, now this is the sixth day. Now, can someone tell me what happened on the sixth day? Really quick. Animals. 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 And who? Man. Man, right? We were created on this day. And let me read something from Genesis uh, 125 and 26. God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind. And it was so. And God said, let us make man our own image after our likeness, dominion over the fish, cattle, and over all the earth. So we find that uh, the animals were created on this day, and also we were created, right? And now, even though we may, you know, speak different languages or uh, different, you know, uh, in different tongues, we are after the image of who? Of God, right? We were created uh, like God. And so, as you sing this song, uh, you, as we sing this song, will you hear? Uh, uh, the, the voice of God will be repeated many times. It says that the voice of God, um, you know, He commanded everything. You know, He said something, and then it was so, right? And so, as we listen to this song, think of how God created us after His image and how we are like Him.
earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which he had made. The song we're about to sing is called, Our God is God. In the Sabbath school lesson this morning, we were talking about how God's creation is a glorification of Him and how we are to care for His creation, right? And we've been talking about creation in our, in our program here, but when it all comes down to it, who is to be glorified in it all? God. This song really speaks to me because it's showing that it's not a God of clay. It's not an image made of gold. It's, it's not these images made of stone or anything like that that represents God. His creation gives us a picture of Him, but it does nothing to actually pr uh, show the character of God. It's only a little small portion. But as we, go, uh, as we, as we come to learn more and more about Him through studying His Word, through studying His creation, we get to know even more of a bigger picture of what God looks like and who God is. Listen as we sing, Our God is God.
I so have so many thoughts going through my head. It's just we are so unworthy to come before him. And yet he has invited us and redeemed us and promised to recreate himself with an incredible thought, an amazing thing um, that our God has done for us. Um, anybody here have pets? Yeah, what, what do you have? A dog and a bird. Dogs? Seven dogs. Does that mean that's a perfect number? She has the perfect animals because she... You have? Four dogs and a cat. Anybody else have something different? Buffalo. Buffalo. All right. Cows, horses, sheep, dog, cats, turkeys, chickens, uh, guineas. Twenty dogs. Bless their hearts. Anybody here ever lost a pet? That's painful, isn't it? In the last year, we have lost, and it, that's painful. And that's not anything near painful to losing loved ones, right, and one another. So the God that we just sang about, the God of creation, is going to recreate someday. I'd like us to close by looking at Revelation 21. Revelation 21. This promise. Feels like I keep going in and out here. Um, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And, or, and God shall wipe away. There will be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Amen. Are you looking forward to that day? Amen. Amen. That sat upon the throne and said, Behold, I make all things new. All And he said unto me, Write, for these words are what? He said. Mega, the beginning and the end, I will give unto him that is a As we close today um, with a piece of music that is calm, that is talking about God recreating, that creation will be at peace. We can have that peace now. We can start that peace now as we let God into our hearts and begin that recreation process. So we want to an invitation. Probably you, many of you have been walking with God and you just want to continue that walk and deepen that walk. Maybe you haven't been walking with God and today you have seen God in a new way as the creator and the recreator of life and you want to give your life to him and you want to walk with him. We would invite you to do that as we sing and play. This last song, Creation Will Be at Peace.
invite you to stand as we have prayer. <clears throat> Father in heaven, the mighty God, you alone are worthy of our praise. You have created and promised to recreate. Thank you for this time this morning to worship you, to come before you, and to feel your presence. May we leave this place with your presence going with us. May we um, hide our commitments that we've made this morning in you. We know that you're coming again soon. We pray that our hearts will be ready and that you will give us a burden for the world. We pray that you'll bless this church and their light here in Mount Pleasant, that it would shine brightly to the community. We thank you for all these things and the blessings you give. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you so much. It's been a blessing to be here. God bless.